This is where medical breakthroughs happen. It's not the first lab to develop a potential COVID-19 vaccine, it's the second. But it's just as important and perhaps even more significant. Do I feel more encouraged in relation to another messenger RNA vaccine showing that it is making COVID-19 potentially in the future a vaccine preventable disease? Then absolutely so. It's brilliant news, absolutely brilliant. Preliminary data from the US biotech firm Moderna shows it's as effective as Pfizer's vaccine, but it's easier to store in conventional freezers and can last up to six months. It sweeps away fears that Pfizer's results might have been an anomaly. Having two vaccines, two different companies, two completely separate trials, two completely different populations of people giving you the same results, you start to think, yes, this is real. With no orders in the pipeline, the government today scrambled to get one in. I can announce that we have today secured an initial agreement for five million doses of the Moderna vaccine. And while there is much uncertainty, we can see the candle of hope and we must do all that we can to nurture its flame. The government's invested in millions of doses of COVID vaccines. It now has a deal for 5 million from Moderna and 40 million ordered from Pfizer, with enough to vaccinate 5 million people by the end of this year. But by far the biggest order is for 100 million of the Oxford vaccine. Details of how effective it is are expected this month. It also has options for 90 million of two others in phase three trials and 120 million just beginning their tests. The order for Moderna may be small, but the impact could be huge. We were 100% effective in the phase three trial from preventing severe disease. Um, and that, that looks like it was equally effective even among those over the age of 65 or with comorbidities that put them at high risk. So we're hoping that those 5 million doses, while it might sound like a small number, will be sufficient to protect those at highest risk uh, of COVID-19 uh, in the UK. The news came as Janssen launched its final stage trial in Southampton, recruiting 6,000 people to take part. No vaccine has yet been approved, but when it is, we're told the NHS is ready. Thousands of GPs, though, have signed a letter to Matt Hancock telling him they're not. We need to deliver a vaccination programme from 8am to 8pm, seven days a week, including bank holidays. As a practice for me, that isn't deliverable at the moment. And what we cannot do is put patient safety at risk in order to deliver a vaccination programme. Well, that was painless. Moderna still has to release final data on how safe the jab is, but there's no doubt we're another step closer to a COVID vaccine.